Right, Ms. G is yes, here with me again, and it's time for showbiz. Hello, yeah, Mr. it's time for showbiz. Yes. And do uh, you know that Becca is still trending? What for this time? Okay, this time Becca herself has released photos of her big belly. And uh, it's received, baby bomb, they call yeah, it. it's received a lot of reactions because she did that after the news broke that you know she had given birth and all that. So let's see the picture she posted, and then I'll tell you what people have been saying about this. Okay, so this is one of them. Yeah, this is one of them. And this this is one. The, uh, this one though. What this kind of posture though. is that? Anyway, you need to be pregnant to know. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I haven't been yeah, I haven't been there before, so I can also see. So. But you get there soon. Oh yeah. Then I also pose. Hey, this is the backup pose. I show you. I said this is my backup pose. So after she posted, there's a lot of people have been reacting, and uh, you know how Ghanaians behave. They are reminding her that look, you might post the pictures today, but we know that you had given bed long ago. It doesn't change anything. Don't lie to us. Blah blah blah. So that's this is some of the comments, you know. Okay, so you're media. pregnant, and so it's a God is your provider, beautifully dressed. Congratulations, Mama. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So that's that's if you are nautical, uh, nocturnal, sorry. Okay. Uh, that's if you are uh, okay. only if you are. And Chris Vincent, uh, Kelvin Vincent, also. Okay, so you can read some of them. It's a congratulations, B. Uh, it's the first thing that came to my mind, actually. Definitely somewhere in Brampton, for sure, Canada. Uh, congratulations, Becca. Hope you're doing good. That's what I was praying for. Thank you. To uh, miracle baby or just to avoid shame pure you African see. lady oh there is more since you didn't know let me tell you one can give birth in the seventh month of pregnancy make sure you're well equipped before you open your mouth next time and this guy said seven months is premature baby okay go back and find out please you finally caught the ball like Chelsea goalkeeper congrats all right so those are some reactions uh, on social media so she posted the picture and so that's also to confirm that you know yes she has a baby yeah well not that she has a baby maybe the baby is not coming oh the baby is in already uh -huh. now nah, the baby's in already congratulations becca we love you you know she would have been quick to tell us that look it's not in yet thank you blah 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 you know how they do the things you know so once it's in you better keep quiet otherwise you know you get people chastising you the whole other why, why, why would folks. she show us the photos after because people video. thought that people couldn't believe that she was pregnant. People didn't see. I never saw her during her pregnancy. So there was a lot of talk about this cannot be true, blah, 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 blah. So I think just to let us know that, yes, I've been there. I've done that, blah, blah, blah. So that's it. Now let's talk about, I have a lot of gist for you today, but let's talk about Akusia Japan quickly before I go to the tourism ambassadors and all the issues right. around them. So Akusia Japan is talking about, you know, she was, 29 she's done 29 years in the music business next year she would celebrate her 30th anniversary right. and she's been trying to speak to the fact that the kind of company she had the people she worked with have kept her sane and you know you don't need to show too much to be relevant who you collaborate with is also important. Mm. The people you work with is also important. I'm sometimes blaming some of the managers mm. out there, managing the musicians. Why am I saying that? Because if um, I ask some of the musicians, why do you dress the way you dress? Mm -hmm. So, oh, our manager said you should do, dress that, that way, so I will look sexy, so I will look good. Mm. Excuse me, I've been in music scene for 29 years. And you never... 30 years counted. Yes. And still, I have the young ones, mm -hmm. sorry, as my fans, you right. understand? Yes. And um, let's face facts. On a, on, a, on a plane frame, you were still dancing to yes. it. Now, you, you do things that will live. And when you die and go, they should still remember your songs. Right. But look at what is happening now. Most of the songs that people play out there, the song die in three months, four mm -hmm. months. Mm -hmm. The person is still living. Yeah. And then the song will just go off. And DJs you, wouldn't even want to play the song anymore. No, they don't want to yeah. play it anymore. Now, I now, call it the fast uh, food type of music. Exactly. Right. And so what I tell <laughs> those out there is, yeah. I, I told myself that mm. I'll not dress anyhow. Mm. I told myself I'll respect myself. Because if you don't respect yourself, people will not respect so you. So you can make it without exposing your... No. Your, your, private parts exactly. to, the, to, to no, the public. No, 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 no. That one doesn't make you... You see, the funny thing is, you become popular in a, in a negative way. Right. Whereby people sit back and talk anyhow about you. Okay, so... Right, so they were talking about private parts. I don't know about people exposing their private parts. Maybe their, their boobs. Okay. I thought those were mistakes, so... Oh, were they? You know, you know how people would refer to yeah, it was a mistake. You know, uh, when we had the undergrowth. 
So can we move on? Yeah, yeah, let's yes, move on. let's talk about um, tourism ambassadors. You know, all the noise about tourism ambassadors, why the ambassadors, what they're supposed to do, blah, blah, blah. Well, we've got a new tourism ambassador. Guess who? Oh, I can't. Kumarud star, Bill Asamoah, has been added to the long or tall list of tourism ambassadors we already have. People are already complaining. They don't know what they're doing. But today, he was made one of uh, the new ambassadors. Let's see if we have his picture. So that's Bill Asamoah there. Today, he was made a tourism ambassador. I hear that you're going to pick five, you know, celebs from every region so that at the end of the day we have 50 of these tourism ambassadors and it's raised concerns and one person who we know is a tourism ambassador is Yvonne Nelson so we've been speaking to her, I spent most of my day with her and I've been asking her, you know, what exactly have you done? What did they say you're supposed to do? What is this job all about? People say there's a reward for your doing so much stop, you know, video you had so once you did it for us, let's reward you with something. Here's Yvonne so the MPP. Me? Yeah, a tourism How? ambassador. It's from under, MPP? Yeah. From Ghana? Okay. From Ghana? But the, for... that, that position was given under the for MPP. My, well, yeah, they decided to do it. A lot of people it. thought that it was a payback for, you know, adding your voice to doing some stuff, which favored them in some way. Mm, guess what? Payback as in, in monetary terms? No. The... <laughs> because we don't get paid as, as ambassadors. We're all, I think regardless of, oh, Actress A or musician B is a tourism ambassador. Oh, yay, everybody's looking at you like, oh, you're an ambassador. See, regardless, we all promote Ghana anyways. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you're an, it's official, you're an ambassador or not. I've been promoting Ghana since, since I started acting. So what's the difference? You know, people in the Caribbean know about Ghana because of most of us, mm -hmm. because they watch our movies and they know. Um, Sakodia made Azonto, the, the song and the dance popular. Mm -hmm. Guess what? He's an ambassador in his own way, you know, so he's been promoting Ghana, you know, since. So, you know, if, I, I don't think they've done anything. We, we're always promoting Ghana, anyways. Anyways. So you don't think that there was anything extra to there that? Was, there was nothing extra. What, what, did that, what did that designation come with? Did it come with a script? or um, a documentation as to what you're supposed to do and how it benefits you as an individual <laughs> and how it even benefits Ghana. Like you say, you've I always been promoting Ghana, so what's yeah. special about this one? I think it's one? in Ghana's interest, you know. Yeah, like, like, like I said, okay, they made it official so everybody knows you're an ambassador, but they know regardless of them calling you officially, you've always, you know, promoted Ghana, you know. So it's just like, hey, Yvonne, okay, now make sure you're... You know, you're doing it more and, you know, you're making sure Who gives that you data to promote Ghana? Anyway? Nobody gives us Ghana. Because we are worried about how they make people ambassadors. And uh, there's no clear-cut, mm. you know, um, duty. Think, Isn't think, that worrying? Well, that's our own little way to give back to Ghana, you know. Um... You don't want to do Ghana a favor? Well, I, I do Ghana a favor. Uh, so why aren't they making you a tourism ambassador? That doesn't have to be, uh, I don't have to be appointed. I mean, I could still play that role. And it's also obviously capacity. not important as, you know, they're making it look. Not to worry. No, not at all, he says. Anyway, so we've been talking about Yvonne. Yvonne is premiering a new movie called Sin City. And in that movie, we have Oscar Province, our almighty, with a very beautiful voice like yours as well. And uh, she's been talking about her love for Oscar Province. And also, where is Robert Jemmy? You know him? No, who is that? Oh, Yvonne Sweetheart. Yeah. We've been talking about him as well. Yeah. Yeah, I know you want to know that. I love him. I'm his biggest fan. Mm. Biggest fan. You know, you know how I'm crazy about Bravo. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Um, I love Oscar. So when I called him, I was like, see, when you come, you don't have to do anything. Just come and sit down and just stare into the <laughs> camera. You know, don't do anything. Like, it's, it's that bad. You know, wow. I'm a huge fan. Mm -hmm. And um, most of his scenes were phone calls, you know. Okay. So I, I, you know, he's got a good voice. Mm -hmm. So it was all part of the reasons why we casted him. You casted him. Yes. And you're extremely emotional as well. I'm very emotional. I'm a very passionate young lady. So when... When I'm angry, I'm angry, mm. you know. When I'm in love, I'm in love, you know. It's, I, I don't fall in love because someone has money or they've got mansions or they've got, no. Like, you know, 
when I like something, I, I like so it. So what tickles you then? Because when you, when you say, when I'm in love, I'm in love, there should be something that tickles you about the person, something that should attract you. <laughs> it, it happens. It happens. So you, you can know? just see somebody and then... Yeah, love just happens. Oh. You know, sometimes how, you know, the person's intelligence will just, you know, arouse your <laughs> innermost <laughs> senses. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes it's their personality, you know, intelligence, how they, you know, they see life, you know, and all of that. I, I can go on and on and on. So when you meet somebody and, you know, you fall for them, I think it's it's just a natural thing. You can't really, you know, Should explain. I indulge? So what's about Jamie? <laughs> Let me indulge. Oh, Jamie's, a, you know, he's mm -hmm. an amazing guy. I don't know him, so yeah, you, you, he's an amazing you, you, guy. That's amazing indulging. guy. He loves. Um, he's family oriented, you know, intelligent. He loves God, because we used to talk about God a lot when we met. <laughs> but in recent times, we haven't really <laughs> done that. Um, so yeah, all of that attracted me to. How, how did you meet him? Uh, that's a long story. Oh, just say we oh, met, in we Ghana, met in the UK. In the UK. Okay. Yeah, in the UK. So the other question I, everybody would be waiting to hear is, are they still Their waiting? talk comes tomorrow. You know, we need to tease you a bit. So let's know whether they're still on tomorrow. Okay, you can tell me. Oh, we tell we don't have to tell the viewers. I tell you, you know. You know uh, tell I, me. They are not watching. I've told you, so I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Ms. G, for bringing us showbiz.